Microsoft has unveiled some massive new features that are super interesting. So they just had a big, huge conference over at Microsoft and they unveiled something new, which is called Recall. This is one of the biggest updates I've seen from Microsoft that not only, you know, is using software, but also they're getting into some really interesting spaces with hardware. Some people are saying that what they've just unveiled is the biggest competition to, or the threat to Apple and the MacBook, which really has been kind of, I don't know, it's had a really good run of being one of the top laptops for a very long time. But they haven't really been huge on the computer front. They have like their Surface um, hardware, but like, you know, you kind of know Microsoft is this company that licenses out software and to other hardware vendors. So this is kind of been the Microsoft model. They've, in the last 10 years or so, made a little bit of their own hardware. It's often big but this seems to be a much bigger part of the strategy. And the way that they're trying to stand out from all the other hardware vendors is to have their own software, their own AI software hard-coded and embedded into this. So really fascinating. So with what with Microsoft Recall, what they're actually doing is creating a device. Now, I know some people are gonna think this sounds creepy, but it is screenshotting what is on your screen every like second, saving this, and it is building a memory. So you can actually query on this like new Microsoft recall thing on your computer and be like, hey, yesterday I was like working on a project and like, I can't remember where I saved it. Or, hey, I, I was on the software and I was like doing this thing, but I can't remember like what the web name of the website was, but it was like a, a marketplace to sell music or like whatever you were doing. And it's going to be able to, it, it screen recorded everything. It's gonna use AI to search through all of these screenshots essentially and find what you're looking for. Now, for security purposes, a lot of people are concerned. They're like, oh my gosh, this is a huge trust issue. Like I don't trust Microsoft or whatever. At the end of the day, I'm less inclined to think like that's a huge problem. I mean, not to say that like Microsoft will abuse your trust or whatever, but I, I don't know. In my opinion, it's just like every major software company does. Like if you trust Meta, congratulations. I mean, they've, you know, abused everyone's trust for a long time. Google is doing the exact same thing. Anyone selling ads, so Meta, Google, and Microsoft has Bing, so same thing there. Uh, Amazon, as much as you might love, they have uh, you know ads running on Amazon as well. Like so, they're I bring all this up to say like they need your data. They're taking your data. They're selling their data. You're they're using your data. Everyone's kind of doing it. So yeah, some people are gonna have some trust issues with this, but I think as far as the technology goes and like usefulness phenomenally useful, super useful. Like I can't even imagine how useful this would be to be able to just have this kind of instant recall of everything that's on my device. So they also released a new Pi 3 vision multimodal model that's also gonna be now available. That's along with the general availability of the previous smaller Pi 3 small and Pi 3 medium. So that's pretty cool. They also announced it at the same event where they announced this whole recall thing. So they're coming up with some really interesting new stuff. And the last thing I want to talk about that they announced at the conference is that Microsoft announced a deal with Khan Academy where they're essentially giving educators free access to AI software tools to use in education. So Khan Academy has very famously been one of the leaders in this whole kind of education space. I remember growing up, I was going on YouTube watching Khan Academy videos to explain how to do algebra and how to do finance things and accounting and all sorts of stuff. So Khan Academy is absolutely legendary. They've been really big, partnered a lot with OpenAI the early days on how exactly they integrating OpenAI and ChatGPT into education. And now Microsoft is partnered with them and is giving this out to educators. So really exciting times. Microsoft is doing a lot in this space. And to be fair, like Microsoft is doing some great things, very innovative. This recall feature is going to be fascinating to see how this rolls out. And honestly, I know I'll sound crazy for this. I'm like tempted to go buy whatever this new device is that Microsoft has just to be able to test out this new recall feature. A thousand bucks. You can buy three and a half of these for the price of a Vision Pro. So if you're talking, if you're saying that I'm crazy for wanting to buy something like this to test out the, this new functionality, I don't know. I think it might be interesting. I'm definitely going to be looking at it and I'll keep you up to date on how that goes. If you enjoyed the episode today, make sure to subscribe to the podcast. Follow us on you know, wherever you get your podcast, Apple, Spotify, and subscribe over on YouTube. Drop us a comment and leave us a review. I read them all and I really appreciate them. Hope that you have an amazing rest of your day.